Baro Katia has returned on PC and Xbox is located on the same relay, the AUKUS relay. But over on PlayStation 4 is on the Koopa, Koopi, Koopi? That's an I, not an L, by the way, relay, which is of course on Eris, though it has been destroyed on PC and I think Xbox as well. Let's see what he has on PC first. Take three of this because there's that many people have joined a really laggy one. But the Prisma Gorgon's 610 Ducats, that's a lot. Obviously the Sands of Anaris blueprint is a fixed thing, he will always bring that. The Primed Pistol Gambit can be useful and at 400 Ducats isn't really that much. The Prisma Arrows for 350 Ducats, you only need one. It's not like the Valentine's Day one where you had to buy hundreds of them, you just buy the one and it's just basically an arrow skin. The Prisma Jet Sentinel Wings for 300 Ducats, again, you can put a colour on those. This is, they are the reason I don't buy Prisma stuff for the Sentinel because you put a colour on them, the whole Prisma effect disappeared. Kind of a letdown, but if you leave them in the standard colours, actually do look pretty nice. The Prisma Koi Sentinel Tail, I don't know why I didn't get that, I had that on Carrier for ages, but 200 Ducats isn't really that much. Vermilion Storm, Astral Twilight, and Temple Royale at 385 Ducats each. These are... I have two Astral Twilight, I didn't even know... Wow, I could have sold one. I'm an idiot. Oh well. These are the rare stances that everybody wants and Barrow does actually sell, he's brought them all. The Primed Morphic Transformer for 350 Ducats is overpriced considering nobody really does Arcwing. But then again, considering most Primed Mods are more than that, that's actually about right. Primed Target Cracker really goes well with Primed Pistol Gambit, one being chance, one being damage. As a combo, them two are actually worth it for some secondary weapons. Then of course, the Mantis Prisma skin, and the only thing stopping me from actually picking this up, because I do like the Prisma skins, is the fact that I don't use the Mantis anymore, otherwise I would. I think I picked up the um, Skimitar Prisma skin, I'm not sure on that one. But uh, yeah, yet again, no weapons, no new weapons, no new stuff actually. So over on consoles, um, ah, this is really, really similar. Sands of Anora's Blueprint, the Prisma Gorgon and the Prisma Arrow, yeah, they're on PC as well. Are they finally starting to sync these up? Who knows? The Prova Vandal, the Fanged Fusilord, which is um, rifle slash damage, I'll get there eventually. Uh, the Gustag 3, Stalker and Zanuka Beacons are also there. Uh, Pommel, which is impact for pistol, crash course, which is impact for rifle, full contact, which is impact for shotgun, and collision force, which is impact for melee, these are the 120% mods, they are actually useful, but if the impact's here now, it means next time he comes, slash mods. So get farming the Ducats, and there it is actually, the Skimitar Prisma skin. As I say, I don't know if I actually picked this up or not, on PC that is. Of course, don't forget, he will be here for only two days. He does leave on Sunday, so if you do want stuff, you do have to get in there before he leaves. But just remember, if you do happen to miss some stuff, he will return with it. Every single thing he has here, questionable about the Mantis, has been a repeat. He's brought everything. I knew it. Prisma Gorgon, Prisma Arrows, same as console which is weird because actually checked and yeah, they're actually on console and PC, but everything else is different. Weirdly, I don't know what's going on with the Maradetron on console. I'm not sure if that was meant to be this rotation or next. Hopefully it's next. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now because there's a lot of people here and I'm getting quite lagged. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.